Shalom and welcome to Jewish Life, the show about people and issues in Judaism and some secrets you missed in Hebrew school. All of you who have the Jewish art calendar from a cable to Jewish Life certainly know that Purim is coming up, so you are all certainly getting ready and in the spirit of Purim. So we will help you get into that spirit. Purim is a time for merrymaking, for joy, for celebration. It is one of the easiest and fun holidays that the Jewish calendar consists of. And contrary to Passover and the other holidays which everybody celebrates, Purim somehow is a little bit forgotten. So we're going to try to help you get into that mood of Purim, celebrate Purim, we'll tell you all about Purim. And as usual, we have with us the Katzman cast, some of my children who have been appearing every year on the Purim show. Uh, incidentally, Purim time, we had our youngest baby, whose name is Geula Esther. This is our tenth child, and we named her Geula Esther, Geula for the name of redemption, and Esther, naturally, for the heroine of the story of Purim, Queen Esther. So we like to personalize Purim. For all of you, we're going to show you how the Katzman celebrate Purim, how Hasidim celebrate Purim, how Jews all over the world celebrate Purim. It is a time for celebration. If you have our calendar, you have all the instructions for Purim, some of which we will give you today. So without further ado, we will get into the spirit of Purim with some singing, dancing, merrymaking, and then we will introduce you to our guests and the story of Purim. So take it away. enjoyed the dancing, not only you've enjoyed watching it, but you've joined us, said L'chaim, and participated in the dancing. I'm sure nobody in your living room will mind if you'll join us in this dancing. So have a good time. This is the time for joy and happiness. Now that you are in a good mood, let me introduce you to our guests. We have three wonderful guests who are going to help us through Purim. We're going to go from the oldest to the youngest this time. The older one we have here is Levi Katzman. Uh, how old are you, Levy? Ten. Levy is ten years old, and he is our second boy, our third child. Next to Levy is... Chaya Mushka. Chaya Mushka Katzman. And how old are you, Chaya Mushka? Six. You are six, and you go to which school? Beis Rivka. And Beis Rivka in Crown Heights. 
And our third guest is... Isaac. Isaac Katzman. And how old are you? Eight. You're eight years old. Oh, you have to think. You are really in the Purim spirit. Now, I beg your apologies, our audience. It is Purim. And Purim, we're a little fuzzy, hazy, wazzy. We're not exactly sure. After you hear the story of Purim, you'll know why we're a little shaky on things. So, don't worry about our informal appearance and our informal behavior. Okay, um, here we have so many things on Purim. Now, we're going to start with a little bit with the story. Not too much, but a little bit of the story of Purim. Who wants to help us with the story of Purim? Uh, well, it started with the story of Achashverosh. Isaac, you want to help us? What happened with Achashverosh when he became king? What was like the first thing he did? He made a feast. He made a big feast. And what happened at that feast? Yeah. What was like a very important thing that happened that really made things happen? He had the clay and gadol's clothes on him and he had the dishes from the base of Mikdash. He took things from the Jews, High yes, priest. that he stole from Yerushalayim and he used that. But then what happened? How was he punished? He killed her, his queen. What happened? Because she didn't want to come to the feast. Why didn't she want to come to the feast? Lady, you want to help us out? Because she had at least a hundred pimples and a long tail. And Ahasuerus wanted her to come with pimples and a tail? No, because... What did he do at a party? What did Ahasuerus do at the party? He showed off his beauty of his wife. And what did he do it to himself? He got very drunk. And when you get drunk, you don't know what you do, right? So he ended up killing his wife. What a terrible thing. Was his wife a nice lady, Chaim Wishka? No. She was not a nice lady? She was mean. She was mean. To whom was she mean? To everybody. And especially to whom? Her servants? Yeah. Who were her servants? Young Jewish girls? Yeah. And she made them work on? Shabbos. And she was very... Very, very mean. So she got her punishment when her husband got very, very drunk. Anyway, so after we got rid of Vashti, what did Ahasuerus do? Did he have no more queen? Yeah, he had no more queen. So what did he do? He had a new queen. Ah, who was that new queen? Queen Esther. Queen Esther. Are you Queen Esther or yeah. you're Queen Vashti? Queen Esther. Oh, you're dressed up for Queen Vashti. Oh, what did I say? Queen I mean Queen Esther. <laughs> you see, that's one of the things that we do on Purim. We all get dressed up, right? right? And some people get dressed up like Queen Vashti. Some people get dressed up like Queen Esther. Some people get dressed up like Mordechai. Who was Mordechai? I don't want to get dressed up like he was the Queen Vashti. You don't like to get dressed up, huh? It's not, it's not a good idea, huh? No, it's bad. Uh, and I was the uncle of Esther. And Mordechai was the uncle of Esther. And was he a nice guy? Yeah. Oh, we're going to hear all about Mordechai later. And then what happened after Esther became queen? Who became prime minister? Haman. 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 Boo. boo. That's it. When we hear the name Haman, we always go boo, boo, boo. We always make a lot of noise. Because we don't like his name. Why don't we like his name? Because he, 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 did, he was what did he destroy, want to do? He wanted to destroy the Yidin. Did he kill all the Jews? No. no. He was killed. He was killed. How was he saved? He wasn't saved. Oh, uh, you see, I told you it's Purim, and I don't remember what's going on. We must have said L'chaim. We must have had a couple of drinks. You see, here's a bottle of wine. Because we say L'chaim, and we drink, and we are happy on Purim. L'chaim, L'chaim, L'chaim. Now everybody will forgive us that we're a little bit forgetful. <laughs> anyway, so Mordechai was Esther's <laughs> uncle, and he helped to save the Jewish people, right? Right. Yeah. How did he help save the Jewish people? Um, Big Sena, he, he knew every language because he was a Nazi. Every Nazi has to know right. every language. Every and language. Big Sena and Serech, they were speaking in a different language that he, they thought and nobody knew. And he overheard knew. the secret. And he heard the secret. And he saved. And, and he told his um, life. He told Esther, and Esther told the king in the morning. And this is how he was written down as a very special person by King Ahasuerus. But we can't wait to hear the rest of the story. We're going to be dancing away and saying L'chaim 
with some more of Purim Joy. Joined us in the dancing and singing, and that you are really, really, really in the spirit of Purim. As you'll notice, we have taken advantage of the spirit of Purim, and we're pretty happy here. Aren't we happy? Yeah. So what happened? When Mordechai saved the king's life, and then Esther was in the palace, and then Haman, boom! Ah! And Haman came, and he wanted to kill all the Jews. Was he able to kill all the Jews? No. Yeah. Oh, he was he able to kill able himself. To kill. He wasn't able to kill all the Jews because Mordechai found out about this decree. And what did he tell Esther to do? Tell us. Tell us. And Esther Make went to the secret. king's palace. And what did she do? How did she tell him about the story? She made, she a, made party. a feast. Ah, she made another it's party. Only Haman That's and another reason why we like to party the whole Purim. Because there were parties and parties and parties. And she just made one party? No, two parties. She made two parties. And what did she do at the party? Whom did she invite to the party? Haman And what did she tell Achashverosh by the party about Haman? That he was a nice guy? That yeah. she's Jewish and he wants to kill her own uh -huh. nation. Ah, and what happened in the end? He was hung. Haman was hung. He was oh, hung. did you hear about that joke about the hanging? How? I was How do you know they comments. had telephones in those days? They had telephones in those days. Yeah, you're right. Two and a half thousand years ago, did they have telephones? Uh, first, Hashverosh gave him his ring. Then he hung him up. <laughs> that's See, what that's you another do thing telephones. that we do on Purim. We allow ourselves to make jokes. <laughs> and especially on the count of Haman and the funny characters. Okay, and of course, as a result of this wonderful... Joy, joyous celebration. We celebrate Purim and we celebrate it and we have several mitzvahs that we're going to be talking about what we do on Purim. Now here's a, a gadget that we have. Uh, if you'll notice, this is a little gadget that is playing music. If you're going to listen, you're going to hear music in the background. This is something that we use when we give Shalach Manas. What is Shalach Manas? Who can help us out? I know. Shalach Manas? You give to your friend um, at least two things. You two different brachas. Foods that have two different blessings. One of the foods that we give is a hamantash. This is the three-edged cookie, which is filled. The original hats. style is poppy seed, but they use all kinds of jams and jellies to fill up this. And this is the three uh, edges. Why does it have? What is it called? Hamantash? Because it was like hamantash. Hamam had a hat that had three edges, so we remember that, and we eat it, we enjoy it, sure. This is one of the we major ingredients. We eat his hat. 
And another ingredient we have in the Shalach Manas is usually a drink, could wine. be a bottle of wine, or a Red bottle juice. of vodka. Then so there's another mitzvah. Here is another. The types of packages we send to are all kinds. Here we have the fancy basket. You can all see this fancy basket has all kind kinds of, of goodies, all yes. kinds of nash and drinks and foods and chocolates. That's what kids do. And really poor. That's what we do. Oh, do we eat a lot of nash? Then here is another box that we have that is decorated very very nicely for Purim and people fill it up with all kinds of stuff but here is my favorite this is my favorite a cable to Jewish life we like to use this box and believe it or not this is a model of Lubavitch World Headquarters here my children are saying L'chaim to us all a model of Lubavitch World Headquarters 770 Eastern Parkway and this is filled up with little nash and little food and on the top we have a little slot where we can use it for the rest of the year. We can use it as a pushkis. So we have two mitzvahs. We do two good things. So this is one thing we do on Purim. We give Shalach Manis at least to two people. Actually, no, one, to one person, but two types of foods. But usually we like to give only two foods. No. In this basket we have only two foods. No. Oh, we have a million foods. foods. Then the next mitzvah is... Giving of tzedakah, charity. We give charity, and we give charity every day, but especially on Purim, we must give at least one two thing. people, one. at least one coin. Uh, then we have another mitzvah. What's our next mitzvah? Megillah. Our next mitzvah is the reading of the Megillah. And here, let me show you, here is a Megillah. This is usually what they go like. They're rolled up like this. But of course, this is not a real Megillah. This is a decorated Megillah where we can show you that they have all kinds of fancy Megillahs with the story of Purim and some of the pictures and I'm sure when you are going to go we read the Megillah how many times do we read the Megillah? twice and the Megillah is what? the story of? Purim Purim. and we read it at night and in the morning during the day then we have another mitzvah and that is of course the party of Purim which is the party of Purim where we eat our hamantashen and we drink plenty of wine. We eat challah. And we eat, of course, challah. We have to wash. Sprinkles. And we also eat kreplach. Now, all you out there who have our calendar, you will have the recipes for the kreplach and for the hamantashen. You will know how to bake these foods by yourself. And you won't even have to buy them in the store. But in any case, there are plenty of them available in all the stores. And you can enjoy Purim with all kinds of goodies. And there's a lot of feasting. And if you take an extra couple of drinks, please be careful. Do not drink and drive. Let's see what other mitzvahs do we have on Purim. In the prayers, we say a special prayer for Purim. Val Anissim. We thank God for all the miracles that we, He has made for us in the, those days and these days. Present day homons and previous days homons, and we thank God for all the miracles. And we pray, of course, for the miracle of the coming of Moshiach. <laughs> In preparation of Purim, we also have the fast of Esther, because Esther asked us all to fast for her when she went to the king. To, 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 to remember that. And also, when the Jews were fighting the enemy who wanted to kill them, they were fasting. And another thing we do on the day before Purim, we also give three half dollars to remember the half coins that Jews were giving in the temple for the services every time during this time of the year in preparation for the Passover holiday, which comes only one month later. So it is a time for feasting and celebration and holidays and all you out there. Most important thing is that you should be happy. And remember, watch our show every week, and we'll be giving away gifts this week. We will be giving away, every 10th caller, we will be giving away a musical tape for your entertainment. So we hope that you contact us, you get on our list, and you'll keep in touch. And now, in the spirit of Purim, we want to wish you all l'chaim, l'chaim, l'chaim. Remember, be careful, be happy, be merry, have a very good time. Most important thing is a Jew has to be besimcha because you know that Mashiach is coming and he will certainly bring us happy days. And back into the spirit of Purim. 
Take it away. Dance away with our performers. Have a very, very happy time. L'chaim, l'chaim, l'chaim to you all. Happy Purim, happy Purim. L'chaim, l'chaim, l'chaim. Happy Purim, l'chaim. L'chaim, l'chaim, l'chaim. L'chaim, l'chaim. Yeah. <laughs> 